A typical barrier island, as you can see, vegetation occurs within these areas, from the beach back to the uh, salt marsh. The open waters, they got a dune or a barrier islands, over washes, called a mud flat, and then perform the salt marsh. This is an overview from an area view how the water comes in from the sea or the gulf, hits the beach, hits the beaches, washes over and, and forms an overwash in the back in the marshy areas. This is exactly how it looks in real time. The waves come from the front, washes over, washes over the back, cuts grooves in the front and the back. This is the result. That's what we face. Now how are we going to protect that? You put rocks, as we know it moves around and you got to go back and put some more, adding more weights. With my system, you put these boxes. They're based on the principle of offshore structures around the world, which has historically withstood hurricanes because they are driven in the ground by pilings and held in place. You drive them down, some places are lower than the other one. The boxes sink until it hits firm ground. Simply add another box to get to your, your elevation. There you have a secure structure that can be maintained to height at any time. The, uh, the silt moves from the earth left to right on its natural course of building. All you need is something to retain it. And it gradually builds and it gives you more land mass to protect against storm surge. And also the barriers are adjustable that can be made at height quickly. Just add some more over the pipe. There you're restoring land no matter where you build it at. This is the proof. You see on the outer edges, there is a natural movement. Man doesn't claim no credit for that at all. All we need to do is to contain it and to protect it. By putting my system in place, you accomplish that. Plus, you regain the land. This way, you're working with nature, at the same time protecting nature from further destruction. This is a good illustration of how Barry Islands are, or some areas they call them dune crust. Put your little vegetation on the top. The uh, dune begins to erode by the constant movement of the water and surges. It gradually goes on the overwash deposit behind it and eventually it destroys it. This is the classic barrier islands or back dune forms the salt marshland behind it, then your mainland. Here you drive the pylons down where it hits secure foundation. The boxes settle over time till it can't sink no more. Then you simply add more boxes on top accordingly. Some areas you might need one box. Some areas full boxes. Other areas you just add the little add-on pipes on top and just slide the pipe down. Once first box is resting on a firm bottom and no longer sinks, salt water intrusion is stopped. Salt water can no longer go underneath barrier islands and use the liquefied zone as a means of destroying land. This system stops the liquefied zone at its source while being a barrier against storm surge that can be adjusted to height as needed without going wider. There you have protection. Now it can be used all over the world. This is Finland Island. All of a sudden you got all kind of protection. You regain the barrier islands and then you got these barriers with my boxer which protect against storm surges. Coast of California. They got high surges over there. Tsunamis and hurricanes. You can build it there and have tremendous protection there. Virgin Islands. You can do the same thing against tsunamis that's coming at them or periodically hurricanes. You got protection there. Florida, you can change the way Florida looks. Just take time. Build my barriers all the way around it. There you got protection that can be easily maintained. Here you got Rhode Island. Rhode Island needs protection also. And they have it right there. You go up to Delaware Coast. They also need protection. They have it right there. It don't cost a bunch of money to do this. American Tsunami Old Islands. Now they can have protection also from tsunamis or hurricane or whatever. Here they got these condos. Now these businesses better pay attention to this. It won't cost them a bunch of money to give them protection and increase their, uh, their sand in the front so the tourism can come and sit down and what have you while being protected. It'd be done that quickly. Here you got a big lay or bay that's eating up. There's no protection there. But this system you have it. Here is uh, past Christian Mississippi before Katrina. You see in the front what I'm talking about? Nature's already building it. You just need to contain it. With my system, you'd have had more land mass and probably lowered the intensity of the destruction. Here, if these people don't do anything, they're going to lose all of their investment. I advise them to contact me so we can protect that little business at a fraction of a cost. It don't take much to do it. 
here is uh, overseas. It, it's a resort. It got all these little boats parked behind. But look at the open waters. There's no protection there. I put in my system, you have that protection. Here it can be in the Hawaiian Island or anywhere, and you can have instant protection there also. Here is on top of a beach. They use these little system here to contain the sand to build some little sand dunes. Use my system, and all of a sudden you got instant levee protection. I doubt you have protection. Here is a resort a little island that they got scuba diving and all, and you can see the land all the way around, but it's not protected. My system, you can protect it and maintain the level of depth of water that's needed. Here is New York City. It's sitting duck. How can you protect it? Very simple. Uh, this is a good system that can be used all over the world. If the United States don't want to use it, the rest of the world have an opportunity to go ahead and use this system. 